Alex here, your V-Ray guide, and today we're going to talk about V-Ray Dirt Material. This is a really cool option in V-Ray that adds ambient inclusion to your uh, materials, and by doing that, it adds a lot of photorealistic, uh, nice soft shadows and nice soft look to your uh, to your objects. Okay, so I have here a few examples that. Um, I used very, very dirt in order to enhance my ambient inclusion. So we can see here really nice soft uh, shadows inside those uh, this metal here. Also with this uh, concrete here and uh, connection between the metal and the concrete right here. Everything uh, is basically was made by the help of very dirt. And uh, for instance, I'm working on a new scene. Um, of uh, Linero set right here and as you see here on those foldings uh, where the objects being connected we have really cool appearance of ambient inclusion so basically with V-Ray Dirt you'll be able to enhance ambient inclusion and uh, add this really nice photorealistic look to your uh, materials okay so uh, let's go to 3D Max and I have here a pretty much simple scene I'm going to apply simple V-Ray material and I'm going to render it as you see here no textures no nothing uh, we have a little bit of GI distribution but this is basically it um, I have V-Ray sky and uh, no lights just V-Ray sky okay so um, in order to add very dirt you need to go to your uh, material diffuse slot and select select your uh, material browser and here you go in the in the um, standard slot of uh, maps you can select V-Ray Dirt right here so by double clicking you'll be able to add it to your diffuse channel and let's just render it and see what we get so uh, we can see immediately that we start to get this really cool distribution of ambient inclusion to our material okay so uh, the basic parameters here goes uh, the radius the more you give it the the broader it's get the more sp it spreads along your material so you can see it goes uh, it spreads uh, wider so let's let's leave it about 10 we have we have occluded color this is basically the color that uh, your object that ambient inclusion being created uh, been distributed so uh, black is the default I always I always like to leave it at the black point because uh, the soft shadows they basically gray black uh, got gray or black appearance unincluded color is the base color so basically you can play with this one let's make it red for instance just to give you an example uh, of how this stuff works so basically we're not going to use those colors, colors we're going to use uh, textures okay so just to give you a, f a little bit indication about uh, distribution the higher it goes uh, basically the lower and accurate it gets so you can see it got uh, really accurate so uh, let's leave it at, uh, at one for instance and not change these parameters basically I'm not changing them at all uh, fell off same here um, it goes how how wide uh, your ambient inclusion is going to be spread spread out so um, the higher it gets the the less fell off you get um, so let's leave it at zero default settings um, subdiv subdiv is something pretty much important is your uh, quality to your to your materials, uh, to your to do the distribution of uh, V-Ray dirt, so we can see pretty much dots. If I'm gonna zoom in, we have a lot of a lot of kind of grainy looks. So this one goes by um, by the numbers of 16 or uh, 32. So basically square, and you can see how accurate it is right now. So the more you get. Uh, the more subdivs you put, the more accurate ambient inclusion is going to be. Um, bias is basically the shifts. You can shift actually your ambient inclusion to different sides um, on the y axis 
or on uh, on a z-axis as you see here my ambient occlusion was shifted a little bit to the right and if I'm gonna put here also one and this I'm gonna put back to zero I'm gonna shift it back to the left so as you, as you see you can shift also your ambient occlusion to give it more or less uh, z that uh, the z probably goes up and down okay uh, we have here other different parameters such as alpha uh, ignore GI is uh, is on by the default because we're using ambient occlusion and invert normals we're gonna go through those parameters a little bit later because it's much easier to see when the texture has been applied so uh, let's go and apply a few textures so uh, this is those are the slots that uh, the texture is going to be applied to so let's just unincluded color is the first texture that I'm going to apply and let's see how this one works as you see here the unincluded color is base is the basic color is the fundamental color of your object and uh, we can see we have a little bit of GI not something uh, not something serious now um, we have occluded color so basically I prepared a little bit darker texture than the unincluded so this is if this one is the basic texture you want to have something a little bit darker darker than the than the original texture so your very dirt will actually be will be dirt uh, and we'll use this dark texture okay um, radius is basically um, how your ambient inclusion being distributed so in the radius you can put any other texture um you can also use uh, let's use for instance cellular and uh, and let's turn off our fundamental texture our base texture and see how it works so as you see here I'm using cellular so um, it's pretty much dots and we can see here it's been, con it's been uh, controlled by the white gray and black it's a different variation of uh, white, black, and gray color, and we can see that we have those those uh, kind of ununiform dots going on. So basically, you can use different maps in order to use uh, in order to distribute this ambient inclusion, uh, the, the actual dirt in your texture. And let's just bring my dark texture my dirt texture to this one and turn both of them on so as you see here I have my base texture as a concrete and my dirt texture being distributed by using the cellular option cellular um, texture is the one that controls how my ambient inclusion is going to be is going to appear is going to be uh, to be seen in this scene okay so we can see in those areas we get really nice ununiform ambient inclusion going on here I actually can turn off the radius and show you this example so um, what it actually will do it will just distribute on one level with no uh, without any variation without anything and it will just be pretty much uh, pretty much regular ambient inclusion distribution however we can see uh, the dark areas and the GI being enhanced and uh, we get really nice and natural look to our our textures right here okay so um, let me turn those guys off and we'll go through another uh, different other options in this uh, with this map so if I'll put invert normals right here and I'll be able to render it we actually flip the entire appearance of very dirt and the ambient occlusion being distributed on the edges right now okay um, the next option is work with transparency 
for uh, for that option we actually need to use a glass so I'm going to duplicate one of my boxes and let me make it glass so you'll be able to see whoops how this stuff actually works so I made here some really thin glass something like this and let's make it a little bit thinner and a little bit higher and give it a glass texture and not that refractive something like this could work really nice and let's render and see what we get so as you see here we get pretty much um, not that accurate but pretty much dirty look for our glass Let me pull this a little bit in now in order to avoid this we can uh, activate this option work with transparency transparency and then we get pretty much accurate uh, look to my glass here it's pretty pretty cool let me just make my glass a little bit darker something like this so we'll be able to see much better okay so we can see we don't have we have really nice distribution of ambient occlusion along the glass in compared to when this option was off something like this as you see here we get really uh, kinda inaccurate black lines that doesn't look that natural okay um, environment occlusion is basically works for the environment if I'm going to turn this on we're not going to see any uh, ambient occlusion because this option works on the whole environment to be uh, to be distributed with uh, with this uh, with this texture and um, we can also see if the effect alpha is on we'll be able to see how nice and thin um, ambient inclusion gets because it's now working with the alpha that's been distributed from my cellular map okay um, another cool option is let me just turn those guys on and render this image so we will be able to see um, how ambient inclusion actually works on my model we can exclude or uh, include objects and enhance we can like for instance duplicate our texture and enhance on one texture ambient inclusion to work uh, wider and one to work less one to work with more accuracy one to work with less accuracy so basically as you see here we can exclude or include from the same uh, from the same I excluded the glass and this last cube so basically you see those guys are not actually working or getting any parameters from this very dirt right here um, the last option is reflection glossiness if we want to have blurry reflections or refractions we can use this option this option actually works really good with uh, specular maps and you probably know that the specular maps supposed to have only grayscale only black and white and in between the grays doesn't it does not have to be <laughs> on a grayscale but it always works better when it's uh, when it's working with the grayscale mode so this is basic basically uh, refers to your reflection glossiness to your blurry ref reflections that your map uh, that your ambient occlusion very dirt uh, distributes okay um, let's see what other parameters that we have I'm going to turn those those guys off right here and we're pretty much going to go back to the uh, to the previous stage to the normal stage of uh, being distributed and as you see here um, we get really nice and accurate 
render with uh, realistic looking concrete. Okay, so this is pretty much it. This is how you work with V-Ray Dirt and use really cool ambient occlusion in order to enhance photorealistic look to your V-Ray materials. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Post your comment below. This was Alex, your V-Ray guy. Don't forget.